Hi guys, today I'm going to make a cake of an old English sheepdog. I had an assortment of spare cakes in the freezer, so I thought I'd see what I could make using the different shaped cakes that I've got. So I've got a round cake to start with that's going to be the bottom of sort of my body. And this one's roughly 8 inches wide. And I'm just going to buttercream it to a large cake board. And I've used a white chocolate and raspberry flavour icing sugar to make the buttercream with. Just so it's got a little bit of flavour because they're just vanilla cakes that I've got here. And if you think my cakes are looking a little bit firm, they have been in the freezer a little while just to make it easier when I cut into them later for the shape. So the next cake I'm piling on top is a dome shaped cake and it's a six inch one. And then I have this little donut shaped tin. So I'd made a spare cake of this. So I'm going to use it. You can use other shaped tins if you prefer. These are going to be like the front legs. So I've kind of cut it into three pieces. One piece is going to kind of fill a bit of a gap there at the front and the other two can you see are just going either side. Now I've actually got a chocolate cake for the head. And the chocolate cake is a five inch round cake. And can you see we've just pushed that onto the front. I've just put buttercream between everything to hold it all together. And I'm just trimming a little bit off the end of where the front paws are going to go. And a little bit off the front of my chocolate cake. So again it is partially frozen. That's why it's taking me a little while to cut through. And I'm going to trim down now the body at the back. So just taking off sort of the top layer of my cake. Still keeping it fairly dome shaped. Just filling in my little gaps with a little bit of buttercream. So it's this kind of shape that we've got. Just want some back legs now. I've got some another cake that's just a spare cake. So I'm going to use a circle cutter to cut out a couple of pieces from that. And I'm just changing the shape slightly. And then I'm just filling in just behind it with some spare bits of cake. So I'll just trim those down so they don't stick out beyond the foot. And I'm going to cover the whole thing in chocolate ganache. So I've got white chocolate ganache. You can use buttercream if you prefer. But it's quite warm here today so I thought ganache would set up a little bit better for me. And I'm going to cover the whole thing. Okay, so try and get it as smooth as you can. And then we can start covering it in fondant. So for the fondant I've used a mix of the Renshaw's Extra and then the pre-dyed grey just to give me the right colour grey and also it gives me quite a firm fondant to work with. So I'm just rolling it out, not too thin because when I put lines in it later you'll see through to the sponge underneath if I cut it, if I roll it really thin. So I've pressed it around its bum and then I'm going to cut off all the bits that I don't want. So around the bottom and I'm going to cut it so the grey only goes part way up his body and part way up the legs. Keep calling him a he, it's actually going to be a girl when I finished. And I'm just going to use a modelling tool just to push in some lines. So you can use all different things to create these lines. You can even use the back of your knife if you like. And I'm going to go all over that bit of body. And then we're going to make a little tail, which is just a little bit of white and grey pushed together. Again, try and get some little fur lines or hair lines on there. And I'm just pushing that onto the bottom like that. I've just used water to stick it on with. Next, I've got a long strip of white. And I'm going to put it round sort of the back of the neck onto the body and then round onto the front legs. It did this and then afterwards I thought I probably should have done the face first. So I should have really covered the head first but we've done the arms first now so that's fine. We can work around that. Just trim any extra off the front and then we're going to put some fur lines in. And again right down to the front of your paws. And I'm going to roll a little bit more to cover the feet at the back. So you can see I've already done one and just covering the other one. So give it a good push on so it meets with the grey. Again, we're going to put some lines in so that the feet look nice and furry. Put an indentation where you want the pads of the paw to go. So one at the bottom and I've put four kind of oval shaped ones above. I've just used the handle of my knife for this. And then I'm going to fill that with a really dark grey. So this is just fondant that we're pushing into here. If it doesn't stick, you can just put a bit of water or edible glue behind it to hold it in place. Then let's try and cover the face. So we've got more fondant and I've tried to cut a little bit of a shape on there before putting it on that sort of slots between the two front paws. And can you see my fondant's kind of folded naturally at the top of the head anyway. So I'm going to leave those folds as ears. You might need to neaten them up a little bit but I am just going to leave them that kind of shape. And then just kind of tucking in that seam, putting some smaller hairlines on the bottom of the face, put some little eye holes in just with my balling tool. So put a ball of white in for each eye. And we're going to put a line that kind of curves up so the eyes look closed. And I've decided actually I'm going to give him a grey patch on one eye. So let's swap that other eye for a grey one. But let's put that same curve in there. 
So I've got some leftover dark grey that I'm going to use to create a nose. So I'll start with an oval shape and then just kind of point it slightly at the bottom of it. And then we're going to put some more little hairlines in for hair on the face. You can even add extra pieces of fondant on here if you want it to stick out a little bit more. Don't add too much extra fondant though because it is quite a lot of fondant on the cake. We're going to push a little mouth in. I'm just using the end of my modelling tool. So just a little curve and then bring it out to either side. Then we're going to highlight the nose with a little piece of white. And then I've got black that I've just rolled nice and thin. I'm just going over those little lines that I drew earlier onto the eyes. Let's give our dog a little bow so it looks a bit girlier. I've gone for pink. Oh, just flick up that hair so it looks like it's coming in front of the bow. A little ball in the middle. So it's just two triangles of the bow with the ball in the centre. And I've got some black edible dust that we're just going to give it a little bit more colour with. I've probably gone a little bit heavy handed with this so do be careful you don't put too much on it. You can always mix it with corn flour to lighten the colour a little bit. Now I'm going to ice my board green. My board is really quite big so you don't have to have quite as large a board as what I have done here. And I'm going to have to ice it in separate pieces so I've rolled it out, tried my best to cut it as close as I can around the edge of the cake. Let's just put some quick little lines in here for the grass. And we'll just keep going, we'll panel in it on, I'll try and cut it where it just meets the other piece and I've just rubbed the seam over with my hand. Now I think I want my dog to have a little blanket so I've just got some more fondant, this time pale pink and we're just going to put little pieces of it anywhere that we want a blanket to kind of show beyond the dog. So one just coming out from over one paw, let's put a little bit in the middle of the two paws, I'm going for a slightly larger piece just at the side there like that. Now my next bit of grass is going to have to slide underneath that. So you're going to go all the way around the board with the green. You can just see on mine I haven't quite gone around it yet before I decided I wanted to add some flowers. Now I did cheat and I just put on some pre-made flowers and what I'll do is I'll put links in the description box below the video to everything that I've used, so the tools and the pre-made flowers, everything like that so that you can see what it is I've used. And you can add some little leaves as well if you want to go with those flowers. And you might find if you put yours on a smaller board you might not have as much room for the flowers as I did. So it's just a teardrop squashed down flat with a little line in the middle. And then I'm going to finish it off with a piece of ribbon just all the way around the edge of my board just to neaten it up. And there it is all finished, my old English sheepdog cake. I hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.